How much are you enjoying IKEA? Zero out of ten. It's ninety-nine. Borgaji. I can see it how it's glued together. That was the most stressful experience ever. Ta-da! But on to more pressing matters. Christmas tree decorations. Welcome back to another unconventional video. Vlog. I don't know. I don't really know what I'm doing at the moment. I'm just trying to put content together that I've enjoyed filming and documenting, but things haven't gone to plan. If you are in the loop and have watched previous videos, you may know, although it doesn't look like it now, I am in the room that is pissing me off. This room is just the bane of my life. I mean, it's second to the box room that's filled with mould, hence why I've had to tackle this room. But it's been a whole process and whilst I'm doing this, dealing with a load of family stuff, dealing with my own health and mental health issues, as well as packing for a bougie honeymoon. Everything's all kind of gotten a little bit up here, but it's just life. It's fine. I'm trying not to complain. I could have it a lot worse, but I did want to try and salvage the stuff that I have got. So let's do a little rundown. So as I've already said, I have been dealing with this room and this room has been our bedroom. It's been an office. It's been a spare room. It's been an office, a spare room and a shit room. It's been everything, but the end goal is that this is going to be a wardrobe space so that this, all of our clothes and all of our clothes that are in drawers don't smell and aren't mouldy or musky because that box room is what was happening to it. Even though we had a dehumidifier in there, we had the heating on, we had windows open at times, it just, we've got a problem with the render on our rented house and it's not a quick fix. We need someone to, well, we need the landlord to come in and redo the whole render on the house. We've got this. This is something that I haven't actually documented. It's been so mad. Um, whilst I was doing other bits, Andrew put up all the Ikea stuff. He's put up a rail and all our clothes are in here. This looks nice. This does not. But yes, I did a lot of decluttering. A lot of stuff went to storage. It's, it's just been a lot and I, some of it I filmed, some of it I haven't because it has been just me sitting down, putting stuff in piles, in and out of the room, back and forth from storage. It's been so stressful uh, whilst getting like updates from my family on what's been kind of like progressing and just happening. If you haven't watched the, the previous video of me sitting down doing my skincare, my makeup and just getting ready, I kind of just spilled the tea kind of in, in, more, in a bit more detail. I find, and I don't know about you, but um, I've been a little bit cryptic here and there. And I do that because I can so easily just go into tangents and then before you know it vlogs are like an hour long and I really really struggle in the editing process of cutting stuff out what's purposeful and what's not you know it becomes a whole thing so I just try and nip it in the bud and I'll just I'll do a video about it I'll do a video about it so yes here we are I think the one thing I probably will chuck in and again it was something else that didn't quite go to plan I was like we needed to go to Ikea get some bits to kind of put a plaster on our situation that wasn't quite working in the box room. We have got, in that box room, we have got a rail which was on the wall and we had chest of drawers in there, but they weren't all the same heights. And for this room, I wanted something that was all consistent. The rail married up with it as well. And it was just clean and Obviously the clothes are exposed, but it was all just kind of made sense and was neat. That's why we were going to Ikea and I was going to do like a come to Ikea with me. Like we were going to look through everything, but we went at the worst possible time. I had a migraine, which was awful in fluorescent lighting. As I said, we went at the worst time possible, which was like a Saturday afternoon, evening. We went to the one in Lakeside. So it was like a two and a half or like a two hour drive to get there. And I don't know why I thought in my head that this was gonna be such an enjoyable vlogging experience. So we've made it to Ikea. Bit of a shock and a bit of a jump from yesterday. I sorted out everything I possibly could, but now we actually need bits and bobs that's gonna help the room come together. And as much as I love Ikea, I don't really like people, so. 
Andrew and I are kind of wanting it to be an in and out job. We've got a list and we're going to grab what we need to grab. How much are you enjoying Ikea? Zero out of ten. <laughs> Don't expect much Ikea content. It's 99, Borgagy. I can see it, how it's glued together. We've made it to the chest of drawers section, which is the ones that we want to get. I would say they're the most affordable, and I'd say they're the nicest. But at that point, they do a version of, I don't know. Yeah, they do just a normal big version. Do you want to have another look around that section? Yeah. So what are you thinking? I did do a big search on Ikea. And those were like the most affordable, but the nicest and fit hit all the criteria. Yeah, but, but I'm not worried about the affordable, but I'm worried about the, the they're going to long put in six months. Yeah, that's fair enough. I am telling you now, that was the most stressful experience ever. Don't come to IKEA on a Saturday. Don't be savvy, thinking that you're going to make it home by seven. You're going to go in, you're going to grab what you need to get, and then go home. Because ultimately, that doesn't happen. But it was good because the initial plan that we had for draw space, we went to go see it in the flesh. And it's, it wasn't okay, it wasn't going to work. So we have actually gone with something else. It was in stock, not the colour we wanted, but that's fine. And we've even saved a little bit of money in the budget. So all is well, but that was just so beyond stressful. But Andrew did make me laugh and I'm happy that we did go because everything that I'd done on the website and listed out and budgeted for what I wanted to get and what I knew in my head would work actually didn't when we got there, as you probably saw. Chest of drawers that I measured and put together when we saw them in person were like really cheap. And I know Ikea isn't necessarily up there on top furniture that you can get but it is affordable and it does hold a purpose and if you put put it together right it can actually last and do what it needs to do but I wouldn't say it's something that's got massive longevity however we have botched stuff in the past where it's broken but we've managed to put it back together again and these will ultimately I think when we do move go into like a home studio for like props and uh, camera equipment maybe. I know that we'll be able to repurpose these and these were the cheapest option. These were the mom drawers and they opened and closed a lot less flimsier than the ones that were double the price. So I'm very happy we went but it was just a very very horrendous experience. It was just awful. <laughs> and then the next task that I did vlog was painting this wall. As I said, this room has had multiple purposes and this wall has absolutely had it. So there was lots of filling in, sanding, wiping down the walls. Painting process wasn't as horrendous as the bathroom if you've watched that previous vlog. But the paint I used was incredible. It was like a multi-purpose matte B&Q own one coat jobby and I painted like the whole wall all the way down to the skirting board in this colour and it just it looked incredible and you would like walk past and look into this room and it just looks so nice and clean bearing in mind like sanding down all the holes on the wall it wasn't perfect but this paint just went on so so well so i'm i was really really happy with that i've now just got to do what well, i've got to do that wall the back wall and then i'm not sure whether i want this green accent wall painted over so that is where we're at we are at current times now and I thought the rest of this vlog can just be a continuation of being productive. Andrew did put the Christmas tree up yesterday. Although we're going away on a honeymoon, when we come back it will be the second week or the end of the first week of December. So we wanted everything up, come back and it to be somewhat, you know, already done and we don't have to think about that. Um, and plus we love Christmas so why not have a Christmas tree up first week in November so I need to put the Christmas decorations up I need to tidy the lounge up we've got some 
batteries in the garlands that need to be replaced that are on the staircase. So let's crack on. Try to keep in your mind to, to be a little bit more proactive. Very nice. Try to say goodbye to Rowan on FaceTime. Let's pick it up. I'm gonna go get the dab it. So I've made the lounge, made the sofas look nice and tidy, how they should look, and done a bit of hoovering. This carpet is not my favourite, but sometimes like I think like once a month I get my little doodah out and I scrape the carpet. It's like a de- it's a de-bobbler, but it's really good for carpets. But on to more pressing matters, Christmas tree decorations. This is the little knitted star that goes on top of the Christmas tree. But I think this needs a bit of an upgrade. My sister got us these as a wedding gift last year. They're just, she's like, I don't know whether they're sausage dogs, but they look like sausage dogs because their bodies are quite long. But they're like a, a bride and groom. So I'm looking forward to them going on the Christmas tree. My mum got me these. I think they were like in the sale after Christmas and then she gave them to me when I next saw her. And they're from The White Stuff and it's called a Sloth Conga. These are just something else. Andrew's not a fan, but we don't care, Andrew. We love them, okay? And there's just loads of these felted little sloths and I think they're fantastic and this is the thing like if people see stuff and they're like oh my god it's a sloth grace I love that people send me pictures if it's a sausage dog they're like oh my god grace I love this sends me a picture got another sausage dog got a sloth hanging off a leaf on a moon I just love it so I'm looking forward to hanging these all up what's that one? Oh, another sausage dog I'm eyeing up another sausage dog decoration in John Lewis, but you know, pace yourself, Grace, pace yourself. He is real life British Brian Dawson. I felt like I'm on a date. What happened? This is embarrassing. Talking of the ladies. Can this be our Christmas card next? I think this is going to take a very long time. <laughs> it is all done. I was gonna do it this evening, but it was all just staring at me and I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna get it done now. It is a bit fiddly and because it's smushed where the sofa is, there's only so much you can do. I like the knitted jumper and the hat that goes with it. Got this one last year. I'm gonna get some more this year from Walt Disney World. These ones, there's like a collection of these. I think it's that and then some jumpers. That one there. They're from Dunelm. Dunelm was great last year. But no, I think it looks full. I feel it looks balanced. But then when you go around here, it's all a bit... Who decorates all the way around the tree? I mean, come on. And then I made these last year as well. Just dehydrated oranges. And it smells great. Thumbs up. Well, this is worth vlogging. We've just received a package and I've been eyeing up this for a little while and it's called a dog stopper. You can see it there. It basically sits on these and it's got like a handle at the top and it blocks the dogs from going up the stairs. I'm gonna set it up so you can see properly. That's why they tell you to get on the table. It's a dog stopper. Ta-da! Oh, I'll show you what it looks like. I think that looks really cute. And it looks quite wipeable, actually. I specifically wanted to order this, like, ASAP because of my mum's house. They keep on sneaking upstairs and doing poos upstairs, and, I mean, no one wants that. It's got, like, a, a doggy handle. And it says dog stopper. You could get it like, um, it could say sausage stopper or your dog's name, but I've got three dogs. And this is cute, I'm loving this. Bonjour. Um, another day sorting the house a little bit or getting a bit organized. Cracking on with bits this morning, but 
ultimately I'm giving myself a little bit of a break to reset a few things. As I've already kind of stated, there's a lot going on and there's no way I can just park everything to one side and just get it all done. I'm sure I probably could and then doing a bit of catch up, but I'm just doing bits and bobs each day and getting on top of it. I'm going to finish off what I started yesterday. So I'm gonna do a bit of the kitchen. Uh, I might even steam the floors a little bit. It's raining today, so I don't know whether that's a bit of a wasted task because the dogs will be going in and out and the floors will just get a bit crap, but it's keeping on top of it, isn't it? So I'm thinking Wednesday, midweek, bit of a self-care day and I have therapy tomorrow so I'm thinking of doing what I did last week and sharing like my outfit for therapy. I like the idea of it because to have therapy I need to leave the house and I am leaving the house more often than I was. My anxiety is tolerable. Going to therapy we're doing, I think I said this in my last vlog, but we're doing a bit of a timeline on my trauma and I'm not, I'm not crying as much in my sessions but it is very, very triggering. And I think getting ready, making sure that my hair's not greasy, putting a little bit of makeup on, putting a nice outfit together, puts me in a good headspace to sit down and talk about some shit. I'm thinking of washing my hair, putting a face mask on, scrubbing dead skin off and remainder tan, putting on some new tan and just feeling myself a little bit. It is just a bit of a countdown now for a honeymoon, Disney, Florida, Universal. So uh, I am getting like daily ASOS orders at the moment. Did a little try on for my mum, trying on shorts, which is so traumatic, but it's just the consistency of sizing. So I would like order one size because I'm in between sizes and it would either be way too big or way too small. But in my head, I'm like, why Why do you have to order, most, literally I'm talking about three sizes on one individual shorts in several different sizes. You're gonna be ordering like 12, 15, whatever items that are like the same thing. It's just a bit of a shit show, but I am adamant that this week I am gonna start packing and there are some videos that I wanna film. I wanna film all of these outfits for holiday that I plan on wearing, that's gonna make me feel good, that's gonna make me feel a little bit extra. There are some like events that we're doing, so the Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. I don't actually know what I want. I'm, I'm, I'm eyeing up a little waistcoat top, sparkly top from River Island, but I need to wear a bra. So if I'm wearing a bra, you're gonna see it through the middle. So I'm like, nah, that's not gonna work. So I'm thinking of just wearing just a nice pretty dress and my waistcoat and some pretty ears and maybe doing a little bit more with my makeup. But again, you're battling with Florida heat and when we're out there, it's gonna be between 18 degrees to like 28 degrees. In the evening, I'm sure it's gonna be a bit a little bit cooler, but it could also be a hot evening. So you never know what you're gonna get. With that in mind, I'm like, right, I need to keep on top of everywhere being tidy so the house doesn't stress me out. Keep on top of work bits that I don't wanna fall behind on. Um, and stuff for me. And then on top of that, we've got that shit room upstairs that we're trying to make perfect. <laughs> so a lot to do. It's officially a week today that I need to be getting my shit together. Next week I'm getting my hair done. Um, needs a jolly good cut and um, I'm gonna have a color refresh. I'm getting my Disney nails done next week, potentially getting my eyelashes permed because I actually have eyelashes now and I don't want to ruin them and do it myself. All the little things that you stress yourself out to do before you go away. But um, enough rambling, I shall start tidying the kitchen. Oh, this bin needs to come out. This is always a fun job when your bin is broken. If you have any bin recommendations, do let me know. Gummies. On the floor, gummies. I'm not having a lot of this. There you go, my girl. We shared news article with you that you might have missed. I came out of the coffin, as it were, and never felt so free about it. Oh. 
who wears fake makeup and make a palette of dark. Right. She also wears a white shirt. It's not, I don't, I don't expect it to be. It's kind of, it is. I just think it's a Followers, and she kind of just like talks about like, can we say what the handle is? Um, I don't have it in front of me, but if you are, oh, okay. and her husband's, um, her husband's family is like, if you guys have ever considered being a vampire, there is a, um, there is a community in the show. Oh, and I don't know why I do it. It's like it just happens, and then I have to catch myself. Sometimes I don't even know if you're awake, and it's just like I'm like I have to say it, I have to say it, I have to say it, and my brain's like, no, go to bed. That is wild, but they're just talented women. Yeah. Well, there was some drama later, but um, she is the absolute most successful biggest name from that show. Um, they originally were casting um Alex. She um was picked up on Mad TV. I can't believe that. Wow. That's not wild. okay. Yeah, she still looks great. I looked her up and I was like, oh my god. So she's like, yeah. So before I draw this wonderful, productive vlog to a close, pardon the pun. I thought I'd show you my wardrobe. Our wardrobe, should I say. I realised that I haven't actually shown you what our new wardrobe looks like. As I've been saying, and we'll say till I'm blue in the face so that I can actually accept this, this is a process. Although this house is very testing and is testing me, I'm so happy that we have found ways to address those things and although they may be plasters for now they are really good plasters it's just going to be fantastic so without any further ado adieu ta-da the progress we've made on our wardrobe has been phenomenal andrew put all of these together in like one evening got strip lighting all behind here to just give it some ambiance so that's ikea i think that was being q and then these rails funnily enough are amazon we had some in the other room and they worked really really well so we've just gone with this again and andrew has put <laughs> i have twisted his arm and been a bit of a nag uh to put up some shelves so i want shoes to go up there this is all like wintery bits i probably could do with going through this and making it a bit more compact or it's going to go underneath our bed in a box because I only need this like three months of the year but it being up there and being able to grab is fine too but I could maybe do with other stuff that I use more often to go up there so he started that today he's just going to get another piece of wood our house is also very very wonky so it's not perfect but and Andrew is beating himself up but I think he's done an absolutely smashing job so just got to put all of these clothes back but in order to do that the other bit of wood needs to go up and oh these shelving bits this is from Etsy and I've had them for a couple of years and they've really really lasted but to make sure that this wood stays we need to drill into that and then he's picking up another piece of slab of wood from me and Q but I just this room has so much potential I am using a little rail there which has got all my Disney outfits there and shoes and bits and bobs down here I'm not going to show you inside of the drawers because I'm not 100% happy with them she says I'm loving that these drawers aren't as deep so you haven't got like clothes on top of clothes I can see everything like my pants my socks and then as you go down like all my graphic t-shirts my slobby trousers t-shirts like it's all it's all great but this is a bit of a cluster of mess in there because it's like my tan stuff with extra makeup hair stuff it's just not as excessive aesthetically pleasing so that is where we're at this has been a jumble 
of a vlog. I'm hoping the next time I see you will be, I don't know, maybe at the finish line. I'm trying to be realistic with my expectations. We've got so much to do before we go away. There is stuff that I wanna film as well and make a bit of a priority. The wardrobe was a necessity that had to happen ASAP because of how cold it's getting now and that room is just gonna get nasty. It's just sorting all of this, but it's like, where is all this stuff gonna go? All the Lego that I built at Christmas last year, where is it gonna go? But I'm sure, yeah, the next vlog I'll put all of this stuff back, sort what's gonna go on the shelves and just make it chaotically tidy. <laughs> back to regular vlogs, I suppose. I'm definitely feeling on top form as best as I can. I'm saying top form because me, two, three weeks ago, it was just horrendous. So to be where I'm at now, I'm I'm very, I'm very thankful and very, very happy actually, settled. And I feel confident going away. I was a bit nervous about that, but I'm excited, nervous at the moment, want to have everything packed and we've done everything that we needed to do on our list. I'll then be like happy, excited, but all great. So on that note, I shall see you very, very soon and thanks for sticking around through all the chaos. <laughs>